But when I was little, my dad called me and was like, do you want to try out wrestling? And I was like, I, I mean, I guess so. And I went and I actually liked it a lot. And then I just haven't stopped since. Honestly, I don't stop. <laughs> it's like all year round. Like, in the, during the season, I practice every day, tournaments every weekend. Then in the spring, I practice like three times a week, tournaments on the weekends. Summer, same thing, three times a week. Tournaments on the weekends, go out to tournaments in like North Dakota, Oklahoma. And then it just repeats itself. And it's been like that since I was little, since I was like 10. It's really competitive, and I like how you don't have to rely on a team. It's just you by yourself out there. So, I mean, if you can't blame somebody else, if you lose, it's all on you. When I was little, I was pretty good when I was little. I mean, I won kid states like nine times. I uh, got first at nationals uh, once. I got second at nationals twice. I got six at the Tulsa Nationals. I got six at the Ohio Tournament Champion Nationals. I got f seventh place and fourth place at the Beast of the East, which is like the toughest tournament in high school. I got six at the Super 32, which was probably the second toughest tournament in high school. I got, I was state finalist last year, hopefully a state champ this year. Um, won Mount Mount Madness twice. I don't know, I've won a lot of stuff, I guess. <laughs> the whole season last year, I was ranked number one, and there was this kid from Sussex Tech named Shane Marble that was number two. And the whole year it was like that until like the last month or, t month or so, I started seeing this other kid's name on the rankings, something Thorn from Polytech, and I'm thinking he's from Polytech, so he's, n he's not going to be any good. I'm probably going to kill him. And then we get to states, and I kind of know more about him. I've seen him a little bit, and I was first seed, so I'm, I'm expected to win. And <clears throat> I'm doing really good in the tournament last year. I go out there, pin my first kid, beat, beat my second kid like 12 to 1, then pin my cousin in the semis. So then I'm in the finals, and I have the, that Artist Thorn kid. So I'm thinking, damn, I'm going to go out here and beat the kid pretty bad probably. Well, I got real nervous, got worked up. I was like the second match of the night, so I didn't really get to warm up that good. And I went out there, and I don't know, I just didn't wrestle how I should have. Like, I got, I usually don't get taken down. I got taken down twice. Um, I didn't even turn him. So, I mean, it was just, it was overall bad. And then, I mean, ever since then, I haven't got that kid out of my head. And finally, I'm going to get a chance to wrestle him again this year in the finals. We're about to wrestle with seats. What do you hate about wrestling? Uh, cutting weight. Like you, you have to starve yourself a lot. Wawa sub. I got a red Gatorade, a yellow Gatorade, and a Glacier Freeze Gatorade. You get injured really easily. Oh shit! It really is recording. What well, did you like wrestling for St. Mark's? Yeah, it was like the best four years of my life, to be honest. I mean, all my best friends that I have right now were all on the team or still are on the team. I mean, it kind of sucked when, like last year, we had like the best team like ever in St. Mark's history. We were number eight in the nation, number four at one point in the nation too, and then everyone on the team. It wasn't even like we were a team. It was like we were like all a bunch of best friends on the team, and like seven of them were all my best friends and they all graduated and every one of them went out to like a different state to wrestle. So like I never even see them anymore. So like, I mean, I'm really gonna, I'm gonna miss St. Mark's wrestling, it was fun. Uh, the next kid I wrestled, 
Oh, he yeah. thought he was going to beat me, but honestly, I knew that I was just going to kill him. So I went out there and beat him, and I'm pretty sure it was 17 seconds. This thing on? Well, I thought they sound Today, yeah. first okay. match, I had uh, this one kid from Hudson, longtime friend, John Turner. Oh, I ended up getting my point because, because I was hurting him. And it was just annoying. Now, yeah. I'm in the finals, and I had this kid that beat me last year, so I guess it's revenge. So I should probably. You know, you nervous? Am I nervous? Yeah. I can write down there that I will be. Sure. Everybody do the power clap, 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 clap. Fresh for the club, I just took a half an hour nap. Clap, clap, clap. I see people go crazy when the whole world in our lap. Clap, clap, clap. My socket was out the plug, now it's time to get the power back. Clap, clap. I seen people abuse power, use power, misuse and lose power. Power to the people that shit. Placed at 7th at the BCD, 6th at the Super 32, and returning to State Finals, they seek it from St. Mark's, Mike Hall. And it is a, with an overall record of 67-19, 9-0 this year, 2010 Delaware State Champion, two-time Hanover Conference Champion, two-time Polytech Invitational Champ, a senior Polytech High School Artist Storm. First period, I just didn't wrestle like myself. He took me down in the first period, which is two for him, and then I got out, so that gives me a point. So then right there, it's two to one. In the second period, I chose bottom, so um, he starts on top, and then I got out, and it was another point, so it's two to two. But then once I got out in the second period, he took me down again, so he got another two points, so it's four two. And then I got out again with like a few seconds left in the period. So it's four to three going into the third period. And I know that I'm really good on top. It's like my best position in wrestling. So I'm, so I'm hoping he picks bottom. But I look at him and he's like walking around like he wants to pick neutral, which is on your feet, which is where he's been beating me the whole match. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, shit, he's going to pick neutral and I'm going to be screwed. And then his coach has told him to pick bottom. So he ended up going on, once he picked bottom, I was like, yes, like, he's not going to, he, like, I'm going to turn him, because he was really gassed and tired. I ended up, like, getting an arm bar in, which is the move that I am pretty much did the whole time I was on top, and um, I warmed down with it and warmed down with it until, like, he couldn't even breathe, he was so tired, <clears throat> and then I just, he got hit for stalling again. which gave him, or gave me a point, so it was tied up four to four. It was probably like a minute less than the third period, and I felt him starting to go over because he was really tired. So I ran the arm bar, and I got him on his back. And then I pinned him, and it was just honestly like, this probably one of the best fans I've ever had in my life. Oh, like, yeah. To be losing to a kid that beat me last year. And <laughs> beat him like that. I don't know, it was just, it was awesome. Like, I tried to point to my mom, but she was in the wrong section where she usually sits, so I ended up pointing at, like, the rest of the fans, and my mom was not even there. 
But I mean, then I went in the back room and like all my teammates came running in and, and like giving me high fives and stuff. It was pretty, it was a good feeling. <laughs> Like when they gave you that out uh, bounce call and they gave it to him, I was just like, dude, that was the last thing that kid had. Dude, that's yeah. fucking. I thought yeah, you I was going nuts on that uh, bounce call. I was, yeah, dude, I was jumping off that fist pump in the shit. Oh my you god. No, I just wanna go in there. <laughs> Last year I was playing on wrestling, but I was probably the most interested in it. Maybe even for the three, but I don't know. Recently I just kind of decided that I wasn't going to wrestle anymore. I mean, I've been doing it since I was five years old. And it's wearing, like, my both of my shoulders are, like, shot. Like, I can't even, I don't even know how, they hurt so bad all the time. Like, you have to cut weight, which is so hard on your body. Like, I, I have to drop, like, 20 pounds just to make weight every week. It's just really annoying, and, and I mean, I don't know. I've got everything I really wanted to get out of it. Five more years, I mean, it's just going to get my college paid for, but I don't think it's worth it in the end. You think you're going to miss it? Mm, yeah, probably. I mean, I say I won't now, but next year when it's the winter time and I'm like 200 pounds, 240 pounds, and I'm fat and out of shape, I'm definitely going to miss it. I never sleep and I got big dreams.